The title is uh, Speed World Champion. We had our Speed World Championships here in Matas Blancas for and Tour this week. We had five days of competition and we had five uh, good races. Each one of them did one hour. And uh, for the guys who don't know how we counted, we scored the two best and fastest runs of every competitor during that hour. And that goes into a ranking list. Winning all feels good. And you know, I've been doing it for a long time. And uh, obviously in my 20s, I used to win a lot more frequently. And the last time I won a slalom world championship was 2011. So it's been a while, but uh, even at old age, I can still go very fast. And uh, that's one of the motivations from the Duncan Big Speed Challenge, that you keep the older ones coming and competing. And you try to gather as many young ones in the categories that we have, that we have youth and we have junior and we have masters and we have supermasters. So everybody gets a chance. But the title I won was obviously the, the open title, the most difficult one. Well, I guess the first ones when you're very young are the most important ones. The, when I was 18 to 19 in 1988, when both my sister Britt and myself won the first world title, it was definitely a very important one. Then uh, equaling Robbie Nash with five uh, consecutive world titles uh, was a very important one. Then obviously doubling Robbie Nash with 10 and with over 30 single discipline titles was an important one as well. Then number 41 in 2011, almost 25 years after the first slalom title in 1988 was also a very significant one. And I must say this is my third uh, world title in speed sailing. One was in 1994. We actually managed to win five world titles in one year. The only year when I managed to win five. Then in 2005, I believe, or something like that, I won another one. And now in 2016, once again. And all that matters in speed sailing is whoever is faster on the course is the champion. Doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, or 50, or 6 years old.